Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is Sean Lieb, and I'm a managing director of strategy and corporate development at uh, Marshall McLennan Companies, one of the world's largest uh, insurance brokers and human resources uh, consultants. Um, we had the distinct uh, pleasure to uh, mentor uh, formerly Musley, now Habit. Um, when you think about uh, insurance, it's about pricing a risk correctly, so you have to understand that risk, the data, other um, the experience. Um, and then when you think about if you're an insurance carrier or you're the insured itself, you want to understand how you can intervene in terms of doing something in order to prevent claims or when a claim does occur that it's uh, you're, you're actually the damage is, is much less than what it otherwise would be, right? So at MMC, we're, I would say, keenly interested in new technologies, new business models, new ways of doing things that are going to disrupt, I would say, disrupt our industry. As you can imagine, insurance is quite a mature industry. It uh, tends to be slower than many of the other areas because at the end of the day, we're essentially, you guys want to make sure that we're going to, or not us, but that the carriers are going to be paying your claims. So it's good to be uh, conservative in this area. I think it's a bit of a cliche these days, I, I guess, that to say that the internet and the, the connectivity uh, is rapidly changing our personal and professional lives. I think anybody who uses Waze, so maybe someone has an update on the Australia-Denmark game, I don't know. But, uh, but it really is. It's changing the way that we do things, what we do, when we do it, where we're doing it, and how we're doing it. Um, not just in terms of us ourselves as people, but the organizations, workflows, um, pushing work from the company out to the actual client and things. And what uh, Habit is doing in terms of its data analytics is um, looking at ways that how it has an app that integrates a um, variety of Internet of Things, or IoT devices, within the home. So one of the largest areas or pools of premium in the insurance industry is residential insurance. Um, and so what type, when you're doing residential insurance, how do you actually know what the risk of that particular asset is? And if, in fact, something happens, what are you going to do about it to ensure that your claim does not become uh, much more expensive than, other, than it should be? So Habit, uh, with its app, aggregates together or integrates the various um, devices that you have in your home. And you can think about all of the data that, that, that those devices um, generate in order to better understand the... Uh, the risk and things, but also to for an insurance carrier to be able to understand, to make suggestions about perhaps what type of other inf infrastructure could a, uh, let's say, the owner of the residence install in order to be able to improve the the actual risk uh, profile of that particular. So is it is it an alarm? Is it an um, does uh, is it a smoke detector? Is the smoke detector working? You don't know if it's not connected. And other things that can you have something in a second home that is actually shutting off the water when it gets too cold, right? So all of these various things that either to improve the underwriting process so that an underwriter or an actuary would be able to better understand risk and price that risk, or it's intervening or having certain things that's improving the risk profile so that you as an insurance carrier could have a por portfolio that has a much better risk profile because you've done something to intervene and that uh, your claims loss ratio and your combined ratio is better than, than your peers and as such you're doing a much better job. So with that, I'd like to introduce Domingos Bruges. Um, he's the uh, CEO and co-founder of Habit, formerly Musley, and it's been a pleasure to work with him. Thank you, sir. So uh, my name is Domingos. I'm the, the founder and the CEO of Habit Analytics. Uh, and all of you know that the insurance industry is massive and is ripe for growth and innovation. Our platform changes the paradigm on how the insurance companies are interacting with their customers, but also on they are taking on, taking on new risks. So, and how we do this is by connecting with uh, IoT devices and then provide services on top of these devices. Services that the insurance company del delivers to their own customers. Then, once in place, we take the data and we do human behavioral analysis. So, Habit Analytics is connected with and partnered with more than 200 IoT devices that exist on the market today. And then, on top of that, like I mentioned before, we enable use cases, services for the insurance companies that range from elder care or home security to commercial coverage or, um, or any kind of workers' compensation. 
Once these use cases are in place at someone's home, at someone's business, we start ingesting data. Data that comes from IoT devices, but also the smartphone and also contextual data, like traffic in the city. This data goes through our models and we transform this data into behavioral profiling. So now the insur insurance company knows uh, the risk, uh, the, or the insurance company has a real-time perspective on the risk they are underwriting. One of our customers is Allianz. We are deployed, uh, we are working with Allianz Group and uh, Allianz World Partners in Europe. Uh, they are fully deployed with us in Europe and we are enabling a safe home solution. So a solution to monitor home. What's really interesting on this solution is that after the service is deployed, now Allianz is able to do a simple thing that is device verification. For you, it might seem very simple to understand that there's a device at someone's home, but for Allianz, it's changing the way that we're working. They were receiving photos of a device serial number, and then they were manually checking. But what they could not do after is guaranteeing that the device was working, or creating a new touch point with their customers by sending a complementary battery for the smoke alarm, and that keeping reducing risk. Another component of our platform is bridging the gap between the devices that you have at home and the real value. As you know, people don't value much IoT, but they value the service, like the security service that you have at your home. With Abit, we are bridging this gap and we are enabling, for example, real-time assistance or in-home assistance services. Other perspective is real-time claims and how this can evolve. For example, this is a very simple interface for someone to submit a claim, nothing special about it. But if you notice on the bottom right, what's interesting here is that when someone is submitting a claim, we are sending metadata about that claim. So we are saying to the insurance company, hey, that driver was in fact driving when the incident occurred and was connected to the Bluetooth and or not. So we give more information about the claim. This is not about disputing claims, but is about having more information that you can correlate later with the incident. Speaking about data, this is just a, a snapshot of all the inputs and data points that we generate. So we start saying this person is an Uber parent, this person drives kids to school, this person's score for the smoking, a smoking habit is X, this person is a short commuter. So we generate profiling. In terms of company, today we are this yellow stack of uh, um, services that we ingest on one side data and then we plug in modules to analyze the data and provide intelligence to the insurance companies. Our vision is to keep growing this stack with more sources, but also enabling not only ours, but third party modules to provide their intelligence on top of our platform. In terms of customers, for the last year, we brought some tier one customers. Um, in average, we reduced around 18 months of go-to-market time in, uh, in these customers, and we kept all their projects within budget. Our team is made of experts in data science and uh, data engineering. Myself and my co-founder, Sasha, we are passionate about bridging the gap between deep tech and business. And this is why we built Abit to uh, make our customers better understand their customers. We are proud to announce that we have just uh, moved to New York City, our headquarters. We have an office in Lisbon with product, and now we have the headquarters here. We are also would like to say that we are hiring. Um, <laughs> and I'll be in the booth uh, next door. Um, I would like also to thank the FinTech Lab, Accenture, and all the mentors for all the help on fine-tuning our use cases for the industry, but also granting us a better fit. Thank you so much.